What is up guys, it's Big Eric Car Guy, and today we are comparing the 2024 and 2025 Genesis GV80s. These both happen to be a V6 with the Prestige package, so it is going to be a fair fight as far as that's concerned. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and see what makes them different. You first have to understand what is the V6 version of the Prestige, and let's go ahead and start off with the V6. It is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged engine that cranks out 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. That's the power plant that's going to ensure a responsive and thrilling experience whether you're cruising down city streets or blasting down the highway. The Prestige package is also packed with luxury and advanced features. On the outside, you're going to see 22-inch rims that not only enhance the GV80's overall presence on the road, but also provide a smooth ride. Plus, you get extra ease of use and dignity with the soft closing doors. They're there to ensure that no quick swings of the hips are necessary in the event that you close the door and it doesn't fully latch. Another ease of use feature is the Genesis Smart Parking. This allows the GV80 to not only search for parking spots, but allows the driver to choose whether they'd like to remain inside the vehicle or outside the vehicle when parking is ready to commence. Now, once they've decided where they'd like to be, all the driver has to do is push a single button either inside the car or on the key fob and the GV80 will be able to completely park itself. Stepping inside, you are greeted with an interior space that is super classy. The suede headliner and quilted Napa leather seats really elevate the cabin's ambiance. Also, the rear seats passengers are treated to not only vanity mirrors in the headliner, but also electric rear window sunshades offering both convenience and privacy. The rear seats of the V6 Prestige are actually more like the front seats than most other vehicles. Not only can they heat up and cool down with heating and ventilation, but they're actually fully electrified, allowing the occupants to slide the seat forward and backwards and even recline if they're groggy on a long trip. And of course, being that time is so precious, if you need to go from dropping off people straight to picking up cargo with a push of a button in the rear, both rear seats can actually fold down flat so you could have the flexibility of loading up whatever cargo you might need to. Noise on the road will be kept to a minimum because of active noise cancellation. That's going to make sure that the cabin is as serene as possible so that way everyone can enjoy the Lexicon premium sound system with very little distraction. Now this next feature is called Digital Key and a lot of tech enthusiasts love it. It allows Android powered phone users to actually use your cell phones to drive the GV80. So if you happen to take up too much space in your pocket when you place a key fob or if it gets lost or stolen, no worries, you can use your phone and drive back home. Another part of the Digital Key system is actually the wireless charging pad. So whether you want to use digital key or not, if you place a compatible device on top of the wireless charging pad, you'll also be gaining some juice while you drive. And while driving, the driver has access to the heads-up display. The heads-up display can show things like navigation and speed directly on the windshield. That means that drivers never have to take their focus off the road. Another amazing feature that you find in various GV80 models are all the cameras around the car. So if the driver decides to park themselves, they can get an enhanced bird's eye view of their immediate area. Plus, with Blind View Monitor, if you happen to put on your turn signal, you can see exactly who is either to the left or right of you. So, whether turning onto the driveway or merging onto the highway, maneuvering the Genesis has never been so easy. Now, obviously, as a driver, you have a tremendous weight of responsibility on your shoulders when operating a vehicle, but what if you also happen to have a bad back? Well, in the driver's seat of the GV80 Prestige, you are going to love the Ergo Motion Seating. What Ergo Motion Seating does is allow the seat to give you a light massage to help quell any aches or pains on a long trip and also has the benefit of stimulating blood flow. Now, as impressive as the GV80 has been up until now, it would not be a great car unless it was also a safe car. And I'm happy to report that every single GV80 has a few digital guardian angels watching out for various different eventualities. For example, every single GV80 is going to have forward collision avoidance assist to help slow down the car if the driver gets distracted and doesn't see an obstacle. You also have blind spot sensors to let the driver know who might actually be next to them, and you also do have pedestrian detection so that way driving through a neighborhood, everybody inside and outside your car is as safe as possible. And if that is not enough, the GV80's frame itself is incredibly strong, standing up to serious outside forces and and if you need a visual, you should probably Google the Tiger Woods GV80 and see for yourself. By the way, guys, I really do live in Orlando, Florida, so if you happen to be a local and want a local hookup, all you got to do is hit me up. Go ahead, click that little link below that says Schedule with Miguel. That way, when you make the appointment and come on into the dealership, I'm going to give you an extra $500 off because you watched my video with the video bonus cash. All you got to do is hit me up by clicking the link below. But now that you know that, 
let's get back to the GV80s. Now that you have seen all that stuff as baseline, let's now look at what's new for 2025 because the GV80 Prestige retains all the luxurious features that we just discussed, plus brings some more exciting upgrades. Starting with the exterior, the headlights have been upgraded to the Genesis Micro Lens Array, providing even better illumination than before. Plus, the 22-inch rims make a reappearance, except they have been modernized for extra curb appeal, and the rear bumper now hides the exhaust for a cleaner and more streamlined look. Inside, there is a stunning new 27-inch OLED display that combines the driver's information with the touchscreen for navigation and various other vehicle settings into one seamless unit. The 25 also enhances what the prior body styles called Sounds of Nature. This new system has been dubbed the Mood Curator, and instead of only playing peaceful sounds like before, it can also adjust a few different things like the ambient lighting and even the fragrance inside the cabin, creating a more personalized atmosphere that could either help de-stress after a long day or help reinvigorate during a long road trip. Another new feature is the digital rear view mirror. So if looking backwards with normal mirror is not possible, you can activate the digital view and still be able to see what's behind you on the road. Speaking of digital, digital key has been upgraded to digital key too. It is the latest in technology that allows for both Android and now Apple users to use your cell phones as their digital key. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that if your phone is compatible with the ultra wideband technology, it can actually allow your digital key to be a proximity digital key. What that means is that you don't don't even need to touch the cell phone anymore to unlock, start, and drive your vehicle. All you have to do is have it with you and then bon voyage. You're on your way. Along with that is another innovation for 2025, which is the fingerprint recognition system. This feature makes it easy to identify the driver and load their profile. So if the owner gets a random urge to rearrange things in the garage but didn't think to bring their key, open the door, place your finger on the reader, and fire it up. Touching back on connectivity, both 24 and 25 GV80s have Apple CarPlay, but if you decide to go with the 25 model, you will have wireless connectivity with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, adding even more flexibility and convenience for the owner. And after all those little differences that make the 24 and 25 different, I want to come to the biggest difference, and that is one extra body style choice. If you like the way the traditional GV80 has been looking, go ahead and get the full body GV80. But if you want a little bit more sportiness, a little bit more flair, you can also decide to go for the GV80 Coupe and get this very nice design. Now, if you want to see a deep dive into the GV80 Coupe, all you have to do is click the little video card up the top or look down in the description and follow the link. So guys, there you have it. Those are some of the major differences between the 2024 and 2025 Genesis GV80 Prestige. And no, I didn't talk about every single little detail of the car because it would take way too long and I'm too far for that. But if you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can know the second I upload the next video. But till next time, I'm the Gary Car Guy and I'll see you soon.